actually we have like a full review for Wonder Woman 1984 like I was checking on Rotten Tomato it is sitting on 90% right now before you go and typing like uh, who cares about Rotten Tomato score nobody cares when it comes to DC movie it's best to check it for yourself to decide if this movie good or bad uh, if you don't believe me just look at Birds of Prey <laughs> or like uh, man of steel those movies definitely like the man of steel does deserve more score and the bird of uh, birds of prey deserve less score so you know what i mean uh when it comes to dc movie it's not always accurate critics score when i was checking this morning like when they initially released the review i saw it was quite like 84 percent it started so it did went up since then because like uh, more top critic they are releasing their review here and this uh, like the score is go getting high uh i did see some of this uh, like a loser critic they give like a uh, rotten uh, to this like wonder woman movie to them i say i mean like i i i, I read their review like they gave uh, one a long time ago one of my youtube friend he said whenever dc movie comes out this critic they become so harsh on reviewing movie to get uh, to because that's how you make your name on youtube because if you say bad thing about these movies uh people will click your video or your uh, like website in this case of course this uh, some of this critic will uh, like they said bad thing about this movie but did not make any sense based on what so i will say when it comes to dc movie it's always very controversial uh best to see the movie for yourself to believe it is it good or bad that's what i think also sometime about uh Disney movie also same like Disney original movie not Marvel movie Disney movie like check it for yourself to decide if it's good or bad that's what I normally do but it's also interesting to see what other people say about this movie uh that being said I I must uh, I should tell you this it will be a while before I get to see this movie so I want to stay away from all the spoiler for this movie because I want to see this movie for myself before any spoiler and it's so hard to like stay away from spoiler once movie comes out it is coming out this Friday I think worldwide everywhere so it is very exciting uh also it's very exciting to see like oh so much people so many people are excited for wonder woman because the first movie was so amazing uh so it is like uh it's really nice to see the second one is also amazing people are liking it especially this critic because they are so snobby you know they don't like most of time uh especially when it comes to dc movies it's always controversial that's the truth uh, i might get dislike for saying this but i don't care i'm a huge fan of wonder woman character so when i was hearing this rumor that all the test screening for wonder woman like this movie isn't good i was like really how is it possible because patty jenkins she's such a like she seems like she's such a dedicated director for this movie like i was seeing this c fandom like uh it was just airing right now and i was seeing that and it was really uh very exciting to see her talk about this movie uh, again it looks it feels like she really knows this character wonder woman and uh, based on all this review i must say this movie is doing justice to her character this is the next I, I hope this is next uh, chapter of her life wonder woman or but i don't know i'm what well, i'm excited to see wonder woman and chris pine character like their character i guess to see some romance some action scene in her like uh her golden armor and the cheetah fight and like uh uh, and the Pedro Pascal character I don't know what is he's gonna do in this movie so I'm really excited to see that uh, it was really nice seeing all this friend on this is friend oh, anyway let's check it out some of these critics said okay so he's from Toronto star okay so he, what did he say there's a, there may be a lot of padding in the Wonder Woman 1984 but there's also a lot to enjoy wow uh, this movie is absolutely crack off on big screen the large canvas playing deserving host to scale of wonder woman 1984 ambitious action sequence uh, pop art color palette and uh, scene stealing villains oh that is very exciting jenkin uh, this is from london evening standard he said jenkin is expert at waving emotion into set pieces wow this is from i don't know who that is thrillers i'm not gonna read that financial time no 
that's not a, like I'm, I'm only reading the big uh, like a news outlet because they're the one US today is big okay returns Gal Gadot as the Amazon princess with the bulletproof bracelet uh, introduces a couple of worthy foes and is pretty fun time even the extremely busy uh, 1984 almost wear out it's welcome at hefty two and a half hour oh it's two and a half hour movie i see chicago time he's always harsh this richard reaper this is a throwback piece of pure uh, pop culture entertainment and global anyway you get the idea this lady she didn't like okay i don't know why she, they did not like some people will not like as i said some people will say bad thing to get the name here again dc movie if you say bad thing you will you will get more click so that makes sense anyway that was my thought on this uh a wonder woman review just dropped i think it's very exciting this movie got such a high rating on rotten tomato not does it matter but still as a fan i feel like okay that was a good time well checking out this review anyway that was my thought thank you so much for checking this out let me know in the comment and please take care